Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win. You and yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the, in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. upload every single day. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing. All right, now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, what we're going to do is to give you three rare alternative builds to the Slash and Playmaker. Now, we all know that in this, if you're following my channel, then you're, you're not all about those meta builds. You're about seeing rare builds or even a meta build name that performs as a rare build in some way shape or form you know how it is i've done i gave you sharpshooter and three point specialist builds that get contact dunks vice versa so i mean like we do a whole different conglomerate of things on the channel and one of the big thing is i know a lot of y'all just want like listen man i like this pie chart but i just want to get different names out of it and the slashing playmaker is going to come out of this now what we're going to do is this the first build that we're going to talk about is actually going to be the facilitating finisher okay so the facilitating finisher again as we all know slash and playmaker comes from this pie chart here what we're going to do is make the facilitating finisher out of this pie chart and the way we're going to go about it is we want to go with the well balanced and the reason why i'm saying going well balanced is because when you're dealing with a slashing build it's always good to have at least a 70 strength that's something that i always try to have um, you're always going to have decent speed or not decent above average speed with this build anyway So but you want to go with the well-balanced pie chart here I'm just big on if you're a slasher trying to get vert have a high vert and have a decent strength now as you do know Also, like I said, I've been on that wave of making top heavy offensive builds So that's what you're going to get out of this pie chart here. We're going to go extremely top heavy with it We're going to make sure we get as much out of it as we can you want to go 86 on the pass accuracy you also want to go 81 on the ball handle then you want to max out there then you want to max out your perimeter your ladder quickness and that little remaining over with you can just put on your still the reason why i say this now again some of my nephews and nieces if you want to have i think you can get five defensive badges out of here then what you do is you take away your post hook all right but to me you take away those four finishing it just it doesn't make sense but you can do that you can see and even then we take this away and then again you have to go more so you take this away that's now the 19 all right so then you go here then you got all right you don't you need 12 shooting you don't want to take away your shooting so then you're gonna start trying to take away from here so then let's say for instance you take away your post moves that's on the 17 you max it out here now you get your six okay to me it just doesn't make any sense to do that now if you do run with randoms then park randoms and stuff then maybe it is you know only having 17 19 and 12 it's still it's not bad it's just that it's not as dominant as it would be on the offensive end. Someone like myself that plays in the stage that has a very designated lineup, always going to have a guard, a lockdown in the paint beast, then obviously you have somebody on your team that can do the defense for you. If you're a twos player, that's different. I'm not a twos player, so I don't need defense on my build because I don't run twos. I don't, I'm not expected to play defense. If you're a twos player, then again, you will want to have something like this. But for me, if you want this, you can go ahead. But for me, it's not, it's not, it's not worth it. I'm not doing that. So we're gonna go right back to like I had it right here. So we're gonna max this all the way out for 20. Then we're gonna max this out, and then we're gonna max this out. What else am I missing? What am I missing here? Maybe that's, maybe it was just like this. Okay. So there we go. This is what I like to go with. But you can go with the other other version if you want. All right. I like the 24, 12, and 20. All right. Um. Now, anywho, so what we're gonna do here is then on the body type. You want to keep your body type defined because like i said we're not doing anything as far as lawrence our weight all the way down you want to stay 6'3 you want to get your weight until you go i think 197 hold on let me see we can go 203 203 max the wingspan all the way out all right so what you're going to get here is um actually no we can go a little bit lower we can go lower than that let's go 
if we go 190, I just want to see something real quick, guys. All right, nah, that's not going to work. So we got to go up one. I'm really big on having 70 at least. So if that's the case, then yeah, we're going to go all the way up. Dope. Okay, we're going to go 203. Then you want to max your wingspan all the way out. All right. So now let's talk about a few things. You will get a plus eight to your physicals. That pull you get a plus four for hitting nine for 99 overall in your my player bill. You get the other plus four by either A, um, going to the Gatorade facility, getting a plus four on all the workouts, or B, getting gym rat. You can get gym rat by either winning them not winning the NBA championship title um in my career or just hitting superstar three in the park. All right, so you can get that. So what you're gonna look at is you're gonna have a 94 speed, 93 acceleration, a 90 vert, and a and a um 72 strength, which is really good. Okay. Then when you go look at your fantasy shooting, playmaking, defensive rebounding, you get a plus four there also. So you have an 89 driving dunk, a 99 driving layup, you even have an 87 post hook, a 95 close shot. That's just basically just making you dominant finishing at the basket, okay? The shooting aspect is always going to be the issue. And that's the reason why you don't see a lot of slashing playmakers in the park now or two-way slashing playmakers with the yellow and the um, red pie charge because of the shooting. You only have a 76 mid-range and then you have a um, 68 three-point shot and then you have a um, 75 post fade. You also get an, um, a 90 pass accuracy, an 83 ball handle, so we get a lot of pro dribble animations. You also have an 82 perimeter defense and a 75, 79 ladder quickness is really, really good. All right, so this is the thing. There's going to be two takeovers you can get. Remember, you have a 76 mid-range and you have an 89 driving dunk, okay? There's two things you can do here, all right? You can go with that pure playmaking if you want to. But and for me and the way that I think that a build should be, be going with, you always want to go with the slash and takeover. But you could go with playmaking take if you wanted to. And the only reason why I say playmaking take, because playmaking take will just at least allow you to be able to maybe possibly get better ankle breakers and that type of deal. But of course, we want to go with that slash and takeover. So here you have it, my nephews and nieces. You have the facilitating fissure. Now, due to time constraints, we're not going to go over the badges. We're just going to head straight over to the next build. So let's head over to the second build right now. All right, my nephews and nieces, so now we're here with the second build, and the second build is actually gonna be called a pass first point, all right? Pass first point, really, really good build here. So what are you gonna do? Same thing, you wanna go with the yellow and the, and the, on the blue pie chart. Then what you wanna do is, again, you wanna go well balanced because of the slashing capabilities. And then what you wanna do here is go 81 on the close shot. You wanna go 81 on the driving layup. You also wanna go 79 on the driving dunk. Max out that standing dunk. Go 69 on the post hook. Again, you want to max out all the shooting to get as many shooting badges as you can with 12. All right. Then you want to go max out the pass accuracy. Just go 80 on the ball handle and then max out that post move. Then you want to max out the perimeter defense, the ladder quickness, and then the steal. Okay. So what you're looking at is 13, 12, 20, and 1. Um, body type, we can go solid. Again, we're going to be pushing the weight up, so we don't have to worry about that. Or we can go to fine. You want to stay 6'3", go all the way up to 203. Then what you want to do is get your wingspan just to 83.1. Don't max it all the way out, 83.1. So now what you're looking at, again, you're going to get a plus 8 to everything, 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 vert, 73 strength. Trust me, you're going to want that. Your driving dunk, you would get a plus four. So you only have an 85 driving dunk. Yes, you get the pro and elite contact dunks, but you got to maintain 99 overall. So just keep that in mind. You also will get, again, just a 77 mid-range shot. You'll get a 69 three-point shot, a 90 pass accuracy, 83 ball handle, an 81 perimeter defense. You also will get a 78 ladder quickness and an 85 still, okay? Now, um, the same thing here. You do get playmaking, you get slashing, you even get shot creating takeover. The shot creating takeover would be good. I mean, if you get shot creating takeover, you'll be able to shoot mid ranges really well. All right, so again, go back real quick. So you go from a 78 to an 88 mid range shot. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to do that route, you can. Me, I'm going to go with the slash and take. But again, you could go with that shot creating take if you want to. And here you have it. You have the pass first point. All right. Now, again, due to time constraints, we're not going to go over the badges. We're going to head over to the third and final build. All right, my nephews and nieces. So now we're looking at the third and final build. The third and final build, we're actually called a mid interior playmaker, okay? So what we're gonna do is the exact same thing. We're going from the same pie chart right here, the blue and the yellow. Then what you wanna do again is go with that well-balanced pie chart. And then what you're gonna be looking at is not gonna be any different than what we already been talking about. You wanna go 79 on the close shot. You wanna go 82 on the driving layup. You wanna go 80 on the driving dunk. You wanna max out that standing dunk. 
53 on the post hook. Again, max out all the shooting and everything. That's gonna give you a 72 right here. Then you wanna go 79 on the pass accuracy. You wanna go 80 on the ball handle. Then you wanna max out that post moves. Then you wanna max out the perimeter defense, the lateral quickness, the steals. You can either go with the blocks like I did, or you can go with the defensive rebound, which I guess you can go defensive rebound because it'll give you a two, so you can do that. All right, but here you have it right here. 12, 12, 16, and two. Um, body type, you wanna go to fine, like I said. You wanna go 6'3". You wanna get your weight to 197. You wanna get that wingspan to 83.1. And again, what you're gonna have is that 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 vert, a 70 strength. This time, you will have an 86 driving dunk, so all I have to do is maintain a 98 overall. But you still get the pro and elite contact dunks here. You also, again, like I said, you'll have a 78, let me see, four, five, six, I'm sorry, 77 mid-range shot, a 69 three ball. You get an 83 pass accuracy and ball handle, 81 um, perimeter defense, 79 lateral quickness, an 86 steal, and a 56 defensive rebound. And then of course here you have a lot of choices. Again, it'll either come down to that shot creating to be able to shoot that mid-range shot really well, or the slasher, but I'm gonna go with the slasher take. And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. You have the mid interior playmaker, extremely rare coming out of this pie chart. But there you have it, my nephews and nieces. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you need to do, man. Just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he cough for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop out the top of no transformer. I'm in my ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a breeze like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go.